Well, welcome back to my fly tying desk. As you can tell, it's a real mess. Been doing a lot of fly tying lately. But anyways, I want to introduce this video and make a quick announcement. The announcement is we did this bay casting clinic um, last year at 2021, uh, August 21. And it was a great success. Everybody had a great time. Everybody learned a lot. We're going to run the clinic again for August 12, 2022. And if memory corrects me, that'll be the last weekend of August. It'll be the 27th, 28th of August. It'll be either Saturday, Sunday, respectively. And you can pick which day you'd like to join the, um, the casting clinic. So we're going to do that again. It's going to be 10 um, students per day with a... Um, with two instructors so it'll be like a five-on-one ratio that means you get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time and it'll be me and Rick doing the instructions um, if you're interested there'll be the email in the end of the video you just send us an email we'll put you on a mailing list as for the video um, this is a heading I've been experimenting with called fishing stories and basically it could be you know I did a video on Atlantic salmon we caught once it could be a special fish, a, spe a unique experience, a unique trip. It's just, you know, fishing stories. In this case, this um, video, uh, it's about this past fall. Our salmon season for, um, you know, our 21 um, salmon season, it was a challenge. And as a lot of you know, it was a very challenging season. And this is just us talking about the challenges and how we had to adjust and how we eventually put everything together. Typical of fishing, it's kind of like life. It's got its challenges. Every year is different. Every approach is different. And we just kind of have to work through it. But this is the um, video on us just kind of adjusting and finally being able to put things together and dealing with the challenges, which we had a lot of challenges this past fall. I hope you enjoy the video and hope to see you folks on the river. Enjoy the video. Well, here we go again, fishing stories. Normally we do a beginning salmon season, opening of the, the run, start of the season video where we kind of get some early salmon um, fishing in. This year it just didn't work well. There was not much salmon to start with. We had a lot of challenges to start out with. Like everybody else, we struggled. But here's a little bit of us kind of going through, figuring it out, trying to get it started. Well, folks, start of another salmon season. Finally back on the water. Boy, it feels good to be down here. It's early September. Uh, we're running about a 750 release, which is our typical Labor Day weekend release water. We're going to run a bunch of water. Um, I'm not expecting a lot of fish today. Hopefully, between the next couple days, we can find a fish or two for you. But it doesn't matter. Succeed, catch a fish or not. We're going to show you what happens and take you through a couple days of fishing, watching us try to get the rust knocked out of our salmon fishing technique. Eric's over here. Yeah, he's right there trying to find me a fish right now. So we'll see what we can do. Follow along, and it's good to be back on the water. As it turns out, the start of the 2021 um, salmon season was pretty tough. Uh, a lot of you probably heard that the fishing was really slow to start out with. We had a lot of water, and we struggled. We struggled for a few weeks just to get our feet underneath us, trying to figure out what was going on with these fish. Oh. Hey Rick, you think you'd take one more step so you can wash the bottom of your bag? Yeah, exactly. That's my step and step that way where it shells up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Trying to get to my little off center from uh, Eric. Yep. All right, we're going to do a little bit of a fishing update. We've been working on this for a couple of hours. Haven't moved a fish yet. Saw a couple fish boil. But um, Ricky is working the top of this run here, and he's swinging 10 feet of T14, a very aggressive sink tip, and it's flushing and cranking down through here with some pretty good force. Um, we're going to probably mess around here for a little while longer and try some different water, um, see if we can get some into some softer water where we might be able to pick a fish up. This is blasting pretty good. We feel that probably down on the bottom of this river with the 7th inch release and runoff, we're probably looking at close to, yeah, we're looking at 1,000 CFS of water coming through. So 
Um, like I've said in one of my fishing reports, we're going to be dealing with more water than we're used to in the last couple of years, probably this year. So even we're trying to get re-acclimated to the water flows. And that's kind of what you're seeing right here is us just trying to feel it out, get our tips figured out, figure out our drifts, try different pools, see how the current's going through it, and see how the fish like it. So there's a lot of us getting re-acclimated um, for the next couple of days. All right, a little bit of a fishing update. We were down in the bottom end of the Douglas and Salmon Run, fishing the lower part of that in some of the more confined shoots and runs. There's just an awful lot of water pushing through. So we kind of moved to the upper part of the, the Douglaston and some of the bigger pools, and we're gonna to try to see if that spread out water reduced that amount of water pressure, and we can get a better presentation and maybe cover some water a little bit more efficiently. As I'm gonna keep saying the theme of the next couple of days is just getting acclimated to the new norm of the river and playing around with a bunch of gear to see what our setups are going to have to be going on for this fall. We're going to have a lot of water this year, so we're readjusting. Let's see if Ricky can drag me out something. And I know he's running a pretty heavy sink tip right now, so we'll see what we can find. Alright, right now, everybody's probably wondering where we're running for gear. I got my uh, about 11 and a half foot 8 blade switch rod with appropriate gadget, and I'm running 10 foot of T11. It's coming through here pretty fast, pretty fast swing. I think I'm getting down enough, but I probably need to try a heavier tip. Uh, Rick's going to head out with pretty much the same setup of this, with a T14 tip to see what he can do with the speed of the slow speed of the swing down. But there's a lot of water coming through here. So we're still just trying to get acclimated to the new norm of the river this year. Can't get it done. Cute picture though. Yeah. A lot of water pushing too. A lot of water. What do you do? Run out and get a haircut? I did. I figured I'd clean my act up a little bit. There's our problem. <laughs> you don't want to fall off? No, I got it. All right. Where do you get your lead? Bootleg it. Go to PA and. Yeah, I have guys bring it up. Okay. Closing from yesterday, attempt one, and opening for today, attempt one. Uh, yesterday, I usually do a closing to get done with fishing. For some reason, just neglected to do it. Um, but we covered a lot of water. We just had a lot of water coming through us. We couldn't really get into some of the make the presentations we needed yesterday. But it was a good chance to get out, get reacclimated with the water flows in yesterday. We ran out a little bit, as you've as you seen. Today we're back on the water again. Different day, different weather, different hat. Uh, we've got some showers that came through this morning, last night, this morning. We got some sprinkles today. So um, we're just kind of going a little bit light. And we're going to cover some water again. This time I got some more aggressive tips and a bigger rod to try some of these pools and see how we can get some uh, flies into, into some of these runs. Once again, you know, it's early salmon season. It's early September. We're looking for a fish, maybe two. And we're just trying to get reacclimated. You know, we're coming off from trout fishing, spring creeks and all that stuff back into the trip. So it takes us a little while to get readjusted. So... Take along, watch us fail, watch us flounder, and watch us try to get redialed in. Let's see what we can do today. Something black, something. Oh, white, it doesn't matter. I'll just throw this on. That looks kind of cool. Yeah, whatever. This time of the year, we haven't really figured out the pattern of what they want or what they're going to respond to. So, hey, this is the fun time. We throw the kitchen sink at them. 
like I mentioned earlier, we're throwing the kitchen sink at them. That's just not in flies, that's tips, presentations, uh, water structure, water types. We're trying to figure out how these salmon are using this river. And there's just not a lot of salmon coming you through. So it's hard for us to observe their migration patterns through the river since they're using it different because of the water flows. So we're struggling, experimenting, and trying to piece it together. Well, let's see if it works. I'd make a couple drifts right where you're standing, then come up and try to head of it again. You're getting kind of the tail out there. That's the type of water that usually just kind of slide over, then drop into the pocket. I know, sir. Exactly. After a while, we finally were able to observe how the salmon moved. We were able to figure out some fly patterns, get the presentations down, but it took us a while. Like everybody else on the river this year, at least the start of the run, the salmon run, we struggled, but we eventually evolved, adapted, and figured it out and started having some success. Like I always say, every fall has its challenges and this fall is definitely no exception. This is Jay at JPEC Guides and Lost River Fishing. We are a year-round fly fishing catch and release guide service. We fish the Lake Ontario tributaries. And then during the spring and the summer, we also fish the inland trout streams, classic dry fly fishing. During the heat of the summer, we will do the warm water fishing for bass and pike. If you are interested in any of our outings or have any questions, please feel free to email us at fish at lostriversfishing.com. Hope to hear from you, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us.